In a year of 3GSM World Congresses move to a new country and city, and a year in which business is back with a bang. The mobile industry's great and good met for an evening of backslapping in the extraordinary setting of Barcelona's National Palace. The GSMA awards ceremony is always a night to remember, and for your long-standing awards reporter, this year was more memorable than most. In a last-minute change to the program, I found myself not just skulking in the shrubbery with a camera crew, but deputy host. So in about 45 minutes, I'm walking up those stairs and presenting the awards. No pressure. We who are about to die salute you. As I waited nervously for my cue, the GSMA welcomes began, recognizing the growing place in the business of entertainment content. After cinema, television, and PCs, mobile is truly the fourth medium. The entertainment world understands the fact that the mobile phone will change forever how media is distributed and consumed. There was also a greeting from the awards platinum sponsor. I would like to wish you all a splendid evening and a congratulations to the creativity and the energy that has led to the award winners this evening. Thank you very much. And then before I knew it, it was suddenly my turn at the podium. I quickly decided to treat the occasion with the formality it deserves. And if any winner dares to tell us how much they love their mother, a small trap door will open up and you shall be dropped unceremoniously into telecom hell which is hot and scary and feels much like a 3G license auction. In addition to my stand-in stand-up, some real talent was being acknowledged. The new mobile innovation category had seen 15 of 150 entries submitted pitching at 3GSM, some of them in costume, to an audience including a judging panel of operators and venture capitalists. The eventual winner was Spinvox, a service converting voice messages into SMS or email. I want to thank you, thank the industry, and thank my entire team for this award. Have a really good night, and I look forward to seeing Spinvox live on all of your networks. The best mobile enterprise product or service was iPass's Corporate Access, which allows users to connect regardless of location or platform through a one-click user interface. I can but recognize and thank uh, our service provider and technology partners who allow us to deliver an industry-leading capability uh, that is second to none. And the winner is Shouzu from Cognima. Cognima's Shouzu did indeed win Best Mobile Messaging Service. It uploads camera phone photos to online sharing sites like Flickr and WebShots. The best broadcast commercial went to Vodafone for its Stop the Clock campaign, a series of comically brief conversations persuading viewers to talk for 60 minutes and only pay for three. Dad, I'm gay. Excellent. Dad, I'm pregnant. Oops. And Vodafone was just as succinct at the podium. So, just want to thank everybody on behalf of Vodafone UK Marketing. Uh, thanks very much. After dinner, I got to relax as MTV's Ryan Devlin took over hosting duties. Wow. The Mobile in the Community Award went to MTN Nigeria Communications for its Phone Lady initiative. Women living in rural areas are given equipment and finance to set up call centres in a project benefiting both the women themselves and their whole community. When you talk about connecting the unconnected, when you talk about bridging the digital divide, and when you talk about trying to alleviate poverty and trying to empower those who, but for the opportunity of access through ICT and telecommunications, um, what we have been able to achieve would not have been possible. A Page One Connect SMS advice service for teenage mothers-to-be was also highly commended by the judges. The much-anticipated best GSM handset or device went to the Nokia 8800, its elegant design drawing on modern watchmaking and jewellery techniques. The best 3GSM handset or device was Motorola's Razer V3X, Unlucky last time round, this year the Moto models are getting so compact, there's not even enough room on them for all the letters of their names. The only thing I struggle with every single day is how to take enough vowels out of the words that we use to create four-letter words, whether it be razor or sliver or pebble. The word we're working on right now is rhino, and I'd like some help. Thank you. The judges also highly commended the Nokia N70. Recognizing the convergence of the mobile and entertainment worlds, next came the Mobile Entertainment Awards and movie star Wesley Snipes. And the winner is... I've always wanted to say that. I play for Skipping Stone. 
Skipping Stone was the best made-for-mobile game. It's a hit in South Korea, now out in Europe and North America. I'd like to thank the judges for acknowledging that simple and intuitive is what's important in the world of mobile content. Okay, so uh, let's see. The winner is going to be um, HI3G Access AB for three music. Actress Juliet Lewis eventually presented the best made-for-mobile music service award to Hi3G Access AB's Three Music, a rich platform of audio channels, audio files, and video. Tapas people for Blog TV. Supermodel Caprice presented Tapas's Blog TV with best made-for-mobile video service. This platform lets anyone with a webcam or 3G phone create their own live TV show. This is going to change the 3G way of using. The mobile phones. The judges also highly commended Cinema Electric's portable Hollywood streaming video and download service. And the best made-for-mobile sports entertainment was Alcatel's live sailing content from the America's Cup. The football club Manchester United's MU Mobile portfolio was also highly commended by the judges. And the night's big trophy, the GSMA Chairman's Award, went to the outgoing Nokia CEO Yorma Olila to recognise his leadership of one of the world's best-known brands. I think that this industry has a terrific future. Look at all those winners, the candidates for those awards. I think these awards will show the way forward. I hope you will enjoy the ride. I did so for 15 plus years. Thank you very much. In my half of the show, we also ran through highlights of the Network Products and Solutions Awards presented through the week at 3GSM World Congress. The best billing or customer care solution went to Idea Cellular. The best roaming product or service to Vodafone. The best network quality initiative to TMN with Tektronix. The best new service delivery platform to Motricity. And the best radio access product or service to MBO Wireless. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan won the Government Leadership Award. Back at the palace, the evening ended with an amazing live set from R&B star Craig David. Entertainment and mobile are together a duet we'll clearly be listening to in years to come. So, a great night of convergence for both the winners and the entire industry. And as for your stand-in host, well, spotlight shrubbery, it's so hard to decide. At the 2006 GSM Association Awards, both on stage and off it, I'm Robert Corran for TelecomTV.com.